What is up YouTube? I'm gonna share with you guys every single coin making method that I know and what you guys should do when you start off the game and things you guys can do later on the game. So right when you start off, you guys should go into the season and look at all these achievements you can get and do every single achievement that you can. Go to the season ones. Uh, Someone you get for just winning games, scoring, stealing, playing defense and all that. So just play like a season. Um, do all the achievements you can and you should be well off with some good amount of coins to start off. Now you guys can also go to head to head and play a lot of games here. As you see I've not played much but at the bottom it says current fan bonus plus 75 fans plus 330 coins. That means after every game you're getting a bonus of this much and as you rank up in this and climb the leaderboards your bonuses are going to increase. So the more you play this the more coins you're going to get. This could be a good way to earn some coins. Also, look at these live events. It's not much right now, but at first there was a tutorial one. I completed that. You got cards from it, you put into a tutorial collector, and I got a gold map bonus from it. So I got a pretty decent player to start off the game right there. Now where the real money comes in is in these sets. And I'm gonna show you guys what I believe to be the most uh the best way to earn coins in this game at the moment. As you see here, I have a Chandler Parsons almost made. I need uh, seven more gold Mavericks players. And all these players I've been sniping for cheap. I want to go as cheap as I can when building this player. And if you look on the auction house, you will see that there are no Chandler Parsons up right now. And these cards can go for a lot. A lot. See, look, there's none of them up right now. So that means you can pretty much set the price. I know at times these are kind of hard to sell because they're not priced, so you make your own. I've seen some of these sell for 350k. I've seen some of them sit for 300k, 250k. So you kind of have to just wait it out until someone buys one of these uh, impact players. But when they do buy, it's well worth it. You're making 100k profit, usually more than that. It just depends on. Uh, if people want the player or not and you're almost always gonna at least break even most likely you're gonna make some profit off of this and that can bring in a lot a lot of money now I'm gonna share with you guys how to snipe now you can look up what I do this I do this a lot elite trophies and I try to snipe these as much as possible because they're gonna go in my elite players and that's really what I want and they sell for around 5,500 regularly so I try to go uh, 5,000 and it timed out. Wait a sec. All right, we're back now. And I searched up elite trophy. I had to go maybe a 5,000, maybe 4,500 uh, by now. And you see, these are already sold out because refresh hit a while ago. Well, hit a minute ago actually. And these normally sell for 5,500, maybe around 6,000. So I want to buy them around this price. As you see right here. One's just sitting here, someone that didn't snag it. So I won that 4,500, that's below market price. And what you want to do is, you want to keep refreshing like this uh, every 5 minutes, so on the 0, on the 5, 10, 15, 20. That's when the refresh hits, every 5 minutes. So you want to sit here and keep refreshing like this. And you'll know when the refresh hits, when this elite trophy disappears, and usually more will pop up. Sometimes, uh, on rare occasions, it'll say nothing to be found. That means refresh hit, and you just gotta try again in five minutes. So always try to get these trophies, try to get these players below market value, and then make the impact players, and you're gonna be making a lot, a lot of coins. You can probably make enough coins to make another impact player right away, and keep doing that. Because right now, there's none up, no one's doing this, really. Or it's very hard to do this, so... It's going to uh, bring in a lot of coins. And also do the same with your gold players. Try to snipe them for very cheap. Try to find the cheapest gold player of that team and try to get them uh, below market value. And that's some tricks for you guys. Hope you guys can earn some coins. Please give this a uh, thumbs up if you like this video. I'm going to be coming up with some a lot more videos on this NBA Live mobile app. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, see you later.